Okay, welcome to our class today for YD 101. Okay, now our class starts off with this one here, yeah? Communication in New Economy, Chapter 1. So hopefully you guys can hear me clearly over there. So our class is uh, online yeah? So as we go through the, the slides, okay. Now, Chapter 1, Introduction to Communication in New Economy. Okay, now, Economy. What is economy? Economy is the very act of maximizing utilities from scarce resources to generate revenue profitability. Scarce resources means that you don't have enough uh, things to sell or you don't have enough uh, resources to give to others. Okay? This is under scarce resources. Okay, next. Right? The economy analyzes and evaluates. Okay? Analyze and evaluate what happens in the world, political, um, the economy, the buy and sell, okay, it's all under analyze and evaluate. Yeah? The standard of living among population is different from Malaysia, different with Indonesia, different with Singapore, standards of living. Yeah? The generation of income by the government from import-export activities and development in the business entrepre entrepreneurial activities in local as well as international market. Okay, entrepreneurship activities like SME, small business, online nowadays. You got your COD. Everything is all under development in business. Yeah? And of course, the, the generation of income by government means that government also do their part in terms of the import and export of product and services in and around. Malaysia example okay now next the basic introduction yeah? basic introduction right where there is an advancement in technology which tend to lead towards yeah productivity okay international communication and trade networks and increase in the uh, work conditions yeah means that in today's world our environment okay is based on technology okay for example, Monday.com, okay, an app where it focus on um, the workers, how they perform, okay, perform how to report using online, yeah, online application. Apart from that, the use of the internet, especially the web, okay, uh, easy access to international economy, okay, national economy, national business, as well as it helps to ease the the process of transferring information okay, from one to another, right? The new economy, or we call it as NE, essentially encompasses three major equally vital factors which are globalization, IT, and of course, lastly, communication. Okay? But without communication, all things will be uh, in, in a very slow movement if there is no good communication in it. So communication is so important. Yeah? So I've got the IT, IT in terms of uh, the Wi-Fi, in terms of the internet connection, these are all under IT, okay? Globalization means that companies not only um, do their business local, but also they're going to branch out internationally, whether it is from Malaysia or other countries, they do international uh, globalization kind of business under new economy, NE. Okay, next, right? The role of communication in new economy. Okay? The ideal outcome of all communication process is the effective as well as the efficient. Yeah? Effective and efficient. One, when you communicate with countries, for example, of course you are using English. But the communication must be um, communication must be on point and communication must be uh, relevant to one country to another. Okay. Efficient using the internet, using technology to make it more real time, to make it more impactful in terms of business yeah, community. Now, to convey a message, to utilize the right channel, and then to obviously ensure that your listeners get the message exactly as you desire. What you desire, for example, uh, as market, okay, as marketeer, okay, you desire the ones who want to listen to your message to buy your product or service, correct? So you must 
aim for the right media. Maybe they mostly on social media. Okay, so you use social media to advertise. So it must be effective. Okay, must be effective. That's why you call it as you use the right channel, the right channel of communication, which is very important. Okay, next, humanizing globalization. Okay, globalization means interconnectedness of political entities, economy relationship, and even computer network. That is what they call as globalization. Okay. The connectiv the connectivityness of everything to connect together by the use of either computer network, website, or internet, as long as you can connect from one to another, from Malaysia to Singapore, you can connect not only using flight but you should also connect using technology, the internet, video conference, video call, and everything. Yeah, under globalization, so the world is not only. Uh, focus on one area. You can expand to most countries as well eh? under globalization. Yeah? Under globalization. Okay. Now, strategic communication in the global economy. Okay. Strategic means that you need to be you need to strategize. Yeah. Getting the right message through the right media to the right audience at the right time at the right place. Everything must be right can make a successful communication will bring a successful communication the right place the right time the right media um, the right atmosphere the right message is is must be there but of course in real life everything is not perfect there must be something problem here and there but try your best to ensure that everything is on the right perspective yeah in order to achieve overall satisfaction and increase link performance, communication uh, copiously inavoidable. Okay? Therefore, global leaders will have to develop two sets of skills. Yeah? To avoid all of the, the downfalls of this communication, now these guys, uh, the leaders, have two sets of skills. Yeah? Number one, okay, to uh, understand the needs of customer, okay? that wants to benefit of the global market. Number two, understanding how competitors, where the traditional rivals, new form companies, emerging substitutes can challenge your organization. Okay? Number one, you have to know the needs of your customer. Number two, you have to identify your competitor and maybe learn something from them or from that research of the competitor, you can be better than them. Okay, because in the world of uh, business, competition makes it much more interesting. Okay? Without competition, you can't go anywhere. So it's either you compete among yourself, with yourself, or you compete with others to make you uh, be a better person and also a better company in sense of the communication. Okay? Now, understand how to review new potential markets and also understanding how to build global organization and the communication, global communication structures and strategic pathways of knowledge flow that goes with that. Yeah? Okay. Next. Now, leadership behavioral skills, intellectual capital. Okay, this is leadership behavioral skills. Huh? Number one is the intellectual capital. Yeah? Knowledge of a range of appropriate and relevant global indus industries normally gained by research and reading. Yeah? To have global value network, to understand social feedbacks, political, economical, ethnological environment, and work with the people from diverse culture. Diverse culture means cultures from Asia, from Europe, from America. You need to understand how they work. Yeah? and understand how to build a global organization remembering that rules of unwerving, unswerving flexibility uh, as there is never on right answer and the answer will always change as more is known and understood okay means that not everything is simple as it is yeah sometimes when you say that you can communicate in english some countries they don't really understand English 
they prefer to use their own language for example Japan okay they, 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 they see their language as the superior language compared to others but in terms of uh, economy for the sake of economy they have to communicate using English but mainly they are using Japanese all the way even foreigners have to learn Japanese as well yeah so you have to understand to build a global organization you have to understand the, the people the culture that is in that particular community okay now psychological capital strong psychological profile that will value difference welcoming change accept team think be curious be open give and accept leadership and build an empowered lead, empowered learning environment empowered learning environment is important because you want to empower um, the people over there you want to empower individual to become more successful in life empowerment yeah display positive attributes towards cultural diversity and without prejudice while valuing all differences yeah valuing all differences okay now social capital have the ability to connect to and work with people from other parts of the world okay you accept people from other parts of the world you accept them and you work together yeah have the skill to generate positive energy in people from other parts of the world lead them to and excite them yeah build mutually trusting relationship with people from all parts of the world that's how you do it for social capital mutual trust respect of every people that you work with whether for example, Toyota has branches in Asia, all over Asia, Thailand, Malaysia, you name it. So as headquarters in Japan, they also have to nurture the same culture that is in headquarters to all the branches all over the world. Okay? That's how we do it. Yeah? Respect, mutual trust and respect to build trusting relationship, to build a skill that is positive and to connect with one another. In this working space, okay, right, okay, uh, that is ending for today, and we we'll see you guys on the next class. Class dismissed.